there are basically no rumors or even news about DC lately. Like, there's nothing going on with DC. So that's why I've decided to go on ahead and make this fun video about the Justice Society of America in Black Adam, which... When it comes to this movie, we don't even know when this is coming out because it was supposed to release December 2021, but then it got delayed and we never got the new release date. So we have no idea when this is coming out, probably sometime early 2022. We'll have to wait and see on that. But like I said, I want to talk about the Justice Society of America because in this, t in this movie, we know they're playing a big role in the movie. And the main team is going to consist of, of course, Hawkman, who will be played by Aldous Hodge, Dr. Fate, who has not been cast yet. I'm really excited to find out who they cast in the role, though. Uh, Adam Smasher, who will be played by Noah Centineo, and also Cyclone, who will be played by Quintessa Swindell. So we got our main JSA team there, but what a lot of you probably don't know is that there's going to be another version of the team in the movie as well. Because there was this leak that came out about this uh, pro probably like about a year ago at this point, and I never talked about it on my channel, but th this leak is something that really gets me excited for this movie, uh, and I'm not completely sure if it's true or not, but I'm hoping it is, and I think it is because th this leak told us about those four main JSA members before they were ever actually announced, so I think it's true. Uh, it sounds pretty cool, but basically... In the movie, there was a second version of the JSA, and there's going to be flashbacks to the JSA in World War II. And this team will consist of, again, Dr. Fate, but this will be a different version because the helmet gets passed on through generations once the guy dies and somebody else gets the helmet. Then also Hawkman, uh, who gets reincarnated, along with Hawk Girl, who of course, also gets reincarnated, so they die all the time, but then they just come back to life in new lives, and then they become Hawkman and Hawk Girl again, then they die, and it's kind of just a cycle there. So Hawk Girl is not part of the present day JSA, but like I said, she's still reincarnated, so maybe she is still out there, and we probably will see her at some point in the future of the DCEU, but maybe the last time she died, she just hasn't been reunited with Carter Hall yet, so... Uh, maybe that could be like a post credit scene here or something in this movie is we see those two reunited and then that, that could set up for the rumored JSA spinoff HBO Max series or something like that. So that'd be really cool to see. But then this is where things get interesting because also in this World War II Justice Society of America team, we have a younger version of the Shazam wizard. So the wizard we saw in the Shazam movie played by uh, D Digimon, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but cool guy, uh, he was also in Aquaman and Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain Marvel, so he's done a lot of superhero stuff, so apparently we're going to be seeing a younger version of that Shazam wizard in this movie, and this is going to be the fully powered Shazam wizard as well, because when we saw him in Shazam, he was old and weak, so we're going to be seeing a younger version of him, and that's going to be really cool, because he's a really powerful character, and, you know, Shazam on the JSA, that, that's going to be really cool. Plus, we kind of saw this coming with back at DC Fandom when they did, released that kind of trailer that was like all concept art and animated kind of. That character was in that. We saw a shot of the Shazam wizard imprisoning Black Adam. And we know that those two have a history together. So it makes sense that he would be involved here as well. Then this is what gets me really excited because also on this team will be Jay Garrick and Alan Scott. Now, if you don't know who those characters are, which I don't know how you wouldn't, um, Jay Garrick is an alternate version of The Flash. He's been on the Flash TV series multiple times, and there's even rumors that he may be introduced in the Flash movie. So that would be awesome to see that classic version of The Flash in the JSA team with the red suit, with the blue pants, with the weird... Uh, helmet that looks like a bowl you'd find in your kitchen with lightning bolt wings on the side. It, it, it's a weird look, but you know, it's classic. It, it, it's kind of cool. And then also Alan Scott is like the OG Green Lantern, uh, who is also going to be a character in the upcoming Green Lantern HBO Max series. So I'm not sure if these two will be tied together, but this definitely gets me 
really, really excited for this. And like I said, I'm not completely sure if this leak is true, but I really hope it is because this just sounds really cool because with, with this new team, like you got some cool members there. I love having Hawkman and Dr. Fate and Adam Smasher is cool. Cyclone, don't really know anything about her. But just the fact that you have like maybe even just cameos from these other characters in flashbacks, maybe they're the ones that originally imprisoned Black Adam, and then once he escapes years later, that's the last thing he rem remembers, and that's why he automatically goes after the JSA. Maybe they uh, solve their differences, and then they start to team up to fight whoever the villain is of this movie, which is rumored to be Eclipso. So I'm really excited for this. I hope this is true. I hope we get all these awesome JSA members. But guys, let me know down in the comments below what do you think about all this, and thanks so much for watching. Please drop a